Welcome to Watch Symposium. I'm Austin, and this is a custom video for Pem in Europe and his girlfriend Petra. And this is a congratulations video to Petra for a forthcoming watch. It's not quite in hand, but it's on the way. And this is a really cool watch for a woman. Now, let's take a look at it. This is a Patek, and it's not a quartz, it's a mechanical Patek. You can see it's blue, and I'm wearing some blue in honor of Petra's forthcoming acquisition. Let me read a little bit about it. It says, Patek Philippe has launched a brand new self-winding mechanical ladies watch designed to set the pace of life in style for the modern active woman. A new embodiment of feminine elegance, the 24 automatic is the first model in the collection to feature a round case. So I guess this is a big thing. Now this is a steel watch and that's kind of big when it comes to Patek. They usually do precious metal pieces, but this has a round case. That's something I love. I mean, a circle is a symbol of infinity. What better to measure the infinite time than a circular watch? That's why I like circular watches. The steel version with diamond set bezel is available with a blue sunburst or gray sunburst dial with black gradation. The beating heart of the timepiece is the caliber 324 SC self-winding movement, which is visible through the sapphire crystal case back displaying hours, minutes, and sweep seconds, and the date in a small aperture at the six o'clock. Let's look at the technical aspects of the watch. It's got a sapphire crystal in the front, in the back, a display case back to see that beautiful automatic movement. It's water resistant to 30 meters, that's enough. You can still swim with that watch. I don't know if I would, but you could. Certainly okay for splashes. I think water resistance is really important, especially if this is gonna be a daily wear. You don't have to worry about a leather strap getting wet, so I like the water resistance and, and the fact that it has the metal bracelet. It's a 36 millimeter watch, which is nice. I mean, that's a good size. I think that's a good size for a man or a woman. For a woman, it's big enough. It's not, uh, it's big enough to be a daily wear, very legible. I think that's a great size. It's very thin, 10.5 millimeters. So that's really nice, really elegant. You can see it here from the side, very beautiful. And as far as the diamonds go, it's got 160 diamonds on it and uh, 0.77 carats. Uh, that doesn't mean anything to me. Maybe it does to you guys. I know less than nothing about diamonds, but 160 of them, that's uh, quite a lot. All right, so it's got a steel bracelet, fold over clasp. And let's talk a little bit about the movement, the 324SC movement. And I'm not going to go into the real technical you know, aspects of, of the movement, but it's got 35 to 45 hour power reserve, 29 joules. It's got that 21 karat gold central rotor. Very beautiful. Again, you get to enjoy that through the display case back. And then it's got some Patek proprietary uh, goodness in, in the movement, the Gyromax, the Spiromax, which are, you know, developments in, in regard to the mechanical movements. And uh, it's got the Patek Philippe seal. So I think this is a beautiful watch. Uh, aesthetically, I love the blue dial and it's fancy, but not over the top. Certainly not for a woman. Diamonds are fine for women. They can get away with it. With guys, you know, diamonds, precious metal watches, you're entering the territory of the feminine. So you gotta be a little bit more careful than women. So uh, this is perfect for a woman. Looking at the dial, it's got hands that kind of remind me, well, they're almost similar to the Nautilus hands. So a very Patek design. I like those a lot. And the numerals on the dial, very attractive. And the date placement, unobtrusive at the six. I love that. Rolex will never do that. I wonder, people would just react so negatively to them changing. It, it, they could never do it. It's kind of too late. They would look like they're following suit with Omega or you know some of these other brands that have put the date at the six. It's a great place for the date. I love having the date. The date's one of those things where it, it's just a trade-off. I mean, it, it's uh, it's so important to have, but where do you put it? You know, I thought, could you, could you like put it 
on the side of the watch, like on the side, and you kind of look at it like that. Anyway, I don't know if there's really a good solution, but this is about the best solution for it. And the date window is framed, and it's really interesting because the bottom of the frame has a bit of curvature, and up at the top, the top of the frame, it it's not curved. It's like uh, it comes down. The angles are 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 hard angles, like 90 degree angles. So just kind of an interesting uh, little aspect, uh, a nuance to that frame that's really nice. And of course, it says Swiss made uh, right below that. And it's got the second hand, and I think that's really important. Sometimes these fancy washes don't have a second hand, which, you know, for a mechanical watch, I think you need that confirmation that it's running. So I'm glad they didn't get too fancy and, you know, omitted the second hand. I think that's super important to have. It's a beautiful watch, and Petra, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. This is a great, well, I don't know if it's a great daily wear. It might be a little too fancy for that, but you could. You could wear this as a daily wear. Because again, it's not over the top. I mean, it's it's not precious metal and there are not too many diamonds, just enough. So you could wear this every day and I don't think anybody would, would think you're sort of over overdoing it as far as uh, you know the watch goes. It's an expensive watch. This is just shy of 30 grand and this is a steel watch. Maybe a lot of that price has to do with the diamonds, all 160 of them. It's Patek though. And this is an heirloom piece. Now, Pim and Petra are girlfriend, boyfriend, and this is a really expensive watch. I don't know who's footing the bill for this. I won't ask, but if it's a gift, it's an incredible gift. And a gift many people would probably say you want to reserve for uh, perhaps a wife. But anyway, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let them sort that out. It's an awesome watch. It's an awesome watch for a woman. And, it, and there's a real pleasure as a man to see your woman with a beautiful watch on her wrist. I've got to do it once when my wife wore her Omega when we traveled to the States. It was so cool. I, I got to look down and see this beautiful Omega constellation taking away and she came back to Japan, took it off. I've never seen it on her wrist since. I'll, I'll make a video sometime of that watch, but as a watch enthusiast, it's really kind of nice and satisfying to look down at your partner's wrist, whether it's your wife or girlfriend, and to see a beautiful watch from a brand that resonates with you, even though it's a woman's piece, I don't know what it is, you can just sort of maybe live vicariously through her wearing it. You know, if you're if you're a Rolex fan and, and you look down and you see that, I imagine it would be kind of a buzz just looking down and seeing a Rolex. You know, I was in a pool the other day, a woman climbed out, she had a two-tone date just on, and I got a little bit of enjoyment from spotting it and looking at it and seeing her pulling it out of the water and it was just dripping with water. And she wasn't even my wife, she was just some random person wearing a date just. So uh, this will be fun for Pim too, even though he's not going to be wearing it. But anyway, Petra, enjoy the watch. It's a beautiful watch. It's a, it's a hard-hitting lifetime achievement watch and be able to keep it in the family and pass it down to your kids and uh, you never actually own a Patek, you just look after it for the next generation, right? So Petra, Pim, enjoy. Beautiful watch. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Take care. Thanks for watching. Guys, let Pim, let his girlfriend Petra know what you think about this watch. Does your wife have a watch and do you get any enjoyment out of seeing her wear it? I'd love for my wife to have a a Rolex, a, a Datejust, or, or like one of those small yacht masters. That would be so cool. I'd get so much enjoyment out of it. She has no interest. Oh, well. But my daughters, my daughters, they're going to be Rolex girls when they're older. I'll be able to see it on their wrist. That'll be fun. Let me know what you think. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I want to invite you to watch Symposium live streams, daily live streams. We've been doing one every day, and I invite you to join. You can jump on, you can talk to me, you can interact with me in the chat, and they are every day at one in the morning GMT time, all right? So if you're in Japan, that's 10 a.m. every day, or if you're in the States on the East Coast, that's 9 p.m. If you're on the West Coast, that's 6 p.m. They're happening daily, so come on over. I'm gonna put a link in the description to some of the past live streams, but we'll be doing it tomorrow. So guys, 
show up. It's fun.